My name is Lina Abu Akle. I'm Shirin Abu Akle's niece, the veteran journalist that was murdered on May 11th in Jenin refugee camp by Israeli soldiers. On May 11th at 7 a.m., my father called me. He was out of the country. He told me, Lina, check in on your aunt. She's been injured in Jenin. I immediately jumped out of bed. My hands were shaking. I was very nervous. I was very scared. I picked up my phone and I started calling Shirin. Of course, there was no answer. I called her colleagues to check on Shirin and make sure that she's okay. I was hoping that it would be fake news. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Her colleagues told me that Shirin has been injured. She's in a critical condition and we are trying to get her to a hospital as soon as possible. Probably two minutes later, her colleague calls me and tells me Shirin has been martyred. That was the most difficult moment of my life. I don't think it will ever get worse than that. I felt not just sad, but angry. I was furious that I never expected for once Shirin would be the breaking news. What's the story? The story is about seeking justice for Shirin Abu Akle. Just over a month since my aunt was killed, justice has not yet been attained. There has not been accountability, not just for Shirin, but to the thousands of Palestinians who've been martyred, who've been killed by the Israeli occupation forces. I am worried that Shirin's death may go in vain, but I am hopeful. I don't want Shirin to just be another number. I don't want her to just be another martyr. We've had enough. For years, Israel has enjoyed impunity. The U.S. continues to provide $3.8 billion of military assistance to Israel. And that's the same army that killed Shirin. We want the international community, we want the United States to carry out an independent and swift, transparent investigation into the death of Shirin. Shirin was a U.S. citizen, she was Palestinian, and most importantly, she was a human being. For us, accountability means an investigation into the chain of command of the Israeli military machine. Inviting Israel to be part of the investigation is not rational because you cannot be the murderer and also the investigator at the same time. Justice for us is holding Israel accountable. As long as there's no accountability, Israel will continue to commit its crimes. Shirin was an inspiration, not just for me as her niece, but she was an inspiration to thousands and millions of young women, young Palestinians who were aspiring to become journalists. She was a role model. Ever since I was a kid, I was inspired by her. I wanted to be a journalist. I remember sitting on our Lego table in my bedroom uh, borrowing her notepads and trying to read off her reports. My relationship with Shirin wasn't that just of an aunt and a niece. It was more than that. She was like an older sister. She was like my best friend. I reached out to her during the good and the bad. We loved traveling together. We were planning on uh, having another trip to the U.S. this upcoming summer. Unfortunately, that's not possible anymore. Shirin really enjoyed spending time with her, with our family. Every Sunday, it was a tradition for us to go out to a restaurant, uh, have lunch together, and then come back home and have uh, her favorite uh, tea with mint. It was her signature. I don't think I would ever taste uh, tea with mint the same. Shirin loved animals so much. Three years ago, she decided to adopt a dog. She named him Filfel. Ever since then, Filfel became the most important member of the family. Shirin's relationship with Filfel was very special. He gave her a sense of joy, a sense of happiness, especially after a long day of work. I feel like I'm still stuck the same place as I was on May 11th. I still feel like uh, I cannot believe that this actually happened. It's shocking. I feel there's an emptiness and there's a pain in my heart that I don't know if, if time will actually heal it. Shirin's legacy is to continue to talk about Palestine, to keep Palestine on the map.
not only when a big event happens, but every single day, because every single day there's something happening in Palestine. Every single day someone is killed by the Israeli forces. Every single day a house is demolished. Shirin tried her best to cover all these stories, and as her legacy, she would have wanted us to continue to talk about Palestine. That's why talking about Shirin is talking about Palestine.